first of all you need to do the connection as per the circuit diagram this is your circuit diagram so let us start with the connection yes let's begin with the connection so this is your v2 so from positive either you can connect this terminal or here anywhere you can connect it so from positive from v2 positive to r2 okay uh, from r2 you can observe here from r2 you need to connect the ig ig means gate current positive of gate current so i'll be connecting from uh, r2 to positive of uh, the gate current uh, from negative of the okay, uh, negative of this meter negative of this ammeter to gate terminal of your scr yes, yes. now let us take any point of anode of scr from anode of scr that should be connected to ammeter negative yes this is your ammeter negative uh, from this ammeter is known as ia okay from this ammeter ammeter positive that should be directly connected to r1 you have to refer your circuit diagram then you will understand yes now from r1 that should be connected to positive of v1 yes now negative of v1 so i have connected to negative of v1 from negative of v1 that should be connected to uh, cathode of scr either you can connect this point or here anything is fine so i'll be connecting at this terminals uh, from cathode negative that means from cathode it has to be connected to negative of v2 so this has been completed i'll be considering uh, this meter as vg okay that means uh, one point should be connected to Uh, positive of gate terminal other point has to be connected to uh, cathode terminal so let me begin with the connection this is vg so positive that should be connected to uh, gate terminal so this is your gate terminal so let me connect to gate terminal yes that is over so the negative part yes uh, the negative terminal of this voltmeter that has to be connected to uh, cathode of your scr i'll be considering this voltmeter as vak that means voltage across anode and cathode of your uh, device scr that means the positive the positive has to be connected to anode of your uh, scr so this i have completed now another terminal negative terminal has to be connected to cathode so this is your negative terminal that should be directly connected to cathode so that connection has been completed Yes. As you can observe, we have completed the connection successfully. Now let us begin with the procedure. Yes. Initially, you need to maintain the V2 that has to be kept at a minimum position. Similarly, R1 should be at a minimum position, and R2 also should be at a minimum position. Similarly, V1 that is also in the minimum position. Now you need to turn on the supply. So let me turn on. There are three segments. So turn on everything. So switch on the power supply. Yes. Uh, let me introduce the meters once again. So this ammeter represents the gate current IG, and this ammeter represents the anode current IA. Let us discuss about the voltmeter, and this voltmeter represents a uh, VG. You can call voltage across gate and cathode. Generally, we call VG, and this is regarding. Voltage across anode and cathode. Normally, we call uh, V A K. These are the meters. Yes. As you can observe, the overall kit is turned on. But to, in order to provide the supply, we need to pull up this particular button. So I'll be pulling up this particular option. Now we need to set the gate current. Let us set the gate current. Yes. Now by adjusting V two, let us set the gate current. It is approximately let us set seven point nine. Say seven point nine. Yes. And now I am going to set the gate current that is equal to seven point nine milliampere. So I'll be setting. So you can slowly vary. It should be seven point nine. So I have made this one as seven point nine gate current. Right now I G is equal to seven point nine milliampere. Yes. Now let's start conducting the experiment. First and foremost thing. So I have set. The gate current IG one that is equal to seven point nine milliampere. There after what you can do is you are slowly varying V A K. Okay, step by step you are slowly varying V A K. In parallel you are going to observe I A. 
so at a certain time at a certain instant whenever you are applying vak immediately you will be getting a rise of current okay that, at that time we will conclude that yes your device scr is getting turned on hmm. now uh, by using v1 so you can see by using v1 you will be slowly varying vak at the same time you will be noting down the value of ia so let us start doing that and the table should be ready yes now vak is equal to uh, 2.3 at the same time let us see the value of uh, ia ia is equal to point now you can see uh, the vak that is equal to 3.1 at the time of ia uh, that is equal to 0 again you have to increase you have to keep on increasing yes 4.5 at that time still uh, the device is not turned on the value of uh, anode current that is equal to 0 only again you have to increase okay 5 still you can observe the anode current is equal to uh, 0 0.000 that means 0 only it is not turning on the, the device is not getting turned on still i am going to increase vak that is equal to 7.9 8.3 at the same time you have to look at here you plot individual reading you are supposed to plot whenever it is 9.7 you keep on observing here the still device is not turned on yes let us keep on increasing okay now it is 10 volt now let us look at the ia current ia the value of anode current still it is not turned on the value of current is equal to zero only device is not uh, getting turned on or not getting started turning on so now it is 12.4 here also it is 0 0.000 that means it's not turning on and now it is 14.7 uh, now also it is not turning on so you keep on increasing let us keep on increasing that particular vak yes so after setting the gate current that is equal to 7.9 milliampere you need to continuously vary uh, the vak uh, in parallel you need to observe the value of ia so let us see how the readings are changing VAK will be keeping on changing, keep on changing. At the same time, you need to observe IA also. When VAK is equal to 5, 5, 5 volt, let us see the value of uh, the anode current that is equal to 0 0.001 ampere. That means 1 milliampere. Yes. Now, by varying V1, uh, keep on observing over here. Let us see what are the changes which are happening over VAK as well as IA. Keep on observing here. Now let us observe whenever VAK that is equal to 10 volt, uh, the current is equal to IA is equal to 1 milliampere or 0 0.001 ampere. Yes. Till now what we have observed is SCR is not started conducting. It is still in a off condition only. Yes. Now let us keep on increasing uh, VAK by adjusting V1. You should have a good observation here. Whenever it is 15 volt, you can observe 15 volt. VAK is equal to 15 volt. How you are going to vary VAK? By adjusting V1. Still, the device is not being turned on. Why? Because the current is 1 milliampere only. Now, again, you are keep, keep on increasing the value of VAK by adjusting V1. Now, let us observe the VAK that is equal to 20 volt. Whenever VAK is equal to 20 volt, still uh, the anode current is equal to 1 milliampere. So, what is the conclusion? The device is not being turned on. Yes, I will be keeping, keep on increasing the value of VAK by adjusting V1. Same procedure. Let us see in an observation whether the device is turned on or not. No, it is absolutely not turned on. Yes, I will be keep, keep on increasing the value of, v, value of VAK by adjusting V1 again. So, let us have a good observation. Yes, now it is 30 volt, VAK is equal to 30 volt, whether the device is turned on or not. No, it is not turned on, still it is in off condition. Yes. So, whenever I changed the value of VAK that is equal to 30.4 volt, you can have a slight growth of current. That means anode current is equal to 2 milliampere, that means 0 0.002 ampere. Now, let us increase, let us keep on increasing the value of VAK by adjusting V1. So, whenever the VAK is equal to uh, now, whenever VAK is equal to 37.3, still device is not turned on. So, let us see the value. Keep on increasing. Yes. Uh, the value is equal to 0 0.002. Yes. Again, you have to keep on increasing very slowly because we need to know when the device is getting turned on. Keep on increasing. So, what is the observation you made? Still, the device is not being turned on. It is only 0 0.002 ampere. That means 2 milliampere. Again, you can increase. 
keep on increasing yes you can keep on increasing yes what observation you made the device has been turned on now by varying v1 you can uh, change the v1 you, you need to take another two more readings so v1 whenever uh, you are changing the v1 that means vak that is equal to 0.9 volt at that time you can note down the value of current that is equal to 0.914 ampere again uh, you need to increase uh, the v1 that means you can measure the vak whenever you are changing v1 vak will be obtained here so you have to complete all the readings in the first table similarly i need to set the gate current ig1 that is equal to uh, 8.1 milliampere and do the same procedure uh, so far we have completed the static characteristics of scr now uh, we will be discussing how to conduct how to calculate the latching current of scr what do we mean by latching current the current at which the scr is fully turned on that is known as latching current now i'll be demonstrating how to calculate latching current of the given scr let us start the experiment yes. first of all let us turn on entire kit set any value of gate current you can set any value there is no restrictions now i'll be setting uh, the gate the, the gate, gate current that is equal to 8.3 milliampere now what you can do is you need to keep on increasing v1 whenever you are changing the value of v1 definitely vak will be getting changed similarly uh, the gate current also getting changed so you keep on varying v1 and let us observe and if you have to turn off the gate you have to turn off the gate and observe the value of uh, the gate current, the value of the anode current yes now let us vary v1 very slowly so i'll be varying the v1 you can observe here whenever i am changing the value of v1 uh, the vak is getting changed that is equal to 0.8 volt so let us see the value of current uh, 0.012 uh, now let us see whether the device is turned on or not so for that purpose you turn off the gate part the gate segment will be turned off now you can observe here whether the device is turned on or not no why because the current is uh, zero zero ampere see the still voltage is available here just like an open circuit here the device is not turned on yes now uh, let us apply the gate terminal again afterwards you have to vary v1 so let us have an observation slowly you have to vary step by step do step by step procedure so i'll be keep on increasing a v okay now uh, let me close the gate terminal let me uh, remove the gate terminal yes check it once whether whether the device is turned on or not no it is zero only current is there uh, current is zero ampere the device is still not been turned on now again i'll be uh, applying the gate terminal so you have to keep on increasing uh, v1 so by varying v1 you are keep on increasing you are going to increase the value of vak now let me uh, remove the gate terminal see any changes has been happened no uh, still the device is in off condition only again repeat the same procedure i'll be giving the gate terminal so you are varying the v1 slowly i'll be varying the v1 that means whenever you are changing the v1 uh, let us see uh, whether the device is turned on or not let me uh, remove the gate terminal see still uh, it is in off condition the device is in off condition so let me uh, reset the previous position i'll be applying the gate terminal uh, you need to keep on increasing the value of uh, vak now to, in order to check whether the device is turned on or not let us pull down this particular switch let us remove the gate terminal i'll be removing the gate terminal see any changes has been happened no the device is still in off condition again i need to uh, provide the gate terminal uh, you need to keep on increasing uh, that particular vak so at that time let us observe whether the device is turned on or not let me remove the gate terminal yeah no still the device is in off condition only because current is zero ampere again repeat the same procedure you keep on increasing the value of v1 yes let us see whether the device is turned on or not what happened here still device is in off condition let us uh, repeat the same procedure okay now let us see whether the device is turned on or not by removing the gate terminal what happened here see what is the value of current yeah so here the value of current is 0.041 at that time what is the value voltage has come down see there is a immediate voltage has come down so what we can say that the device is at this point at this instant the device is fully turned on so this current that means 0.039 ampere that is known as uh, latching current yes now let me move on to the third procedure the third procedure is to determine holding current so holding current is associated with the turned off process turned off process 
So below the holding current, the device will be completely turned off. That's a peculiarity of holding current. What you can do is, uh, you need to keep on observing this meter. That means uh, uh, anode current. Okay. Now what you can do is, you need to reduce the value of V1 slowly. At each point, very carefully you have to observe. At a at a particular point, the device will be completely turned off. That just before the zero, just before getting the zero, you need to measure the particular current. That current is known as holding current. So I'll tell you how to measure that. You just reduce the value of V1. Keep on reducing the value of V1. Slowly, I'll be reducing the value of V1. Look at here very carefully. Yes. Point two nine. Yeah. So the uh, the holding current is equal to point. 29 uh, ampere so that's the value of holding current reducing the value of v1 you carefully observe here so whenever it comes to zero you can measure that uh, here what i observed is holding current is equal to 0.029 so yes uh, for your betterment i'll be showing how to calculate holding current once again now keep on reducing the value of v1 you have to reduce the value of v1 keep on reducing yes keep on observing here Yes. Yeah. Now take the value just before the current value is equal to zero. Here the holding current is equal to point zero two eight ampere. So that's the value of holding current. Yes. Now I would like to turn off the device. Before turning off, make sure that uh, this should be at a minimum position. All the things should be at a minimum position because I'll be using this channel. So let me uh, turn off this. The kit has to be turned off. Uh, the metering unit has to be turned off. Thereafter, you remove the connection from the plug. Okay. So the procedure is completed. Yes. So this is your uh, the characteristics curve for silicon control rectifier. So here we are going to do only the forward characteristics. You can forget about the reverse characteristics. Here in our laboratory, we'll be doing only forward characteristics. So you have to plot uh, in this manner. You have to mark latching current, holding current, and everything you have to mark in a systematic manner. So this is a graph that means IA versus VAK, where IA is known as anode current and VAK is known as voltage between anode to cathode. Yes. Now I would like to show you a reading which is for your reference. So this is a graph that means I will be setting IG1 that is equal to uh, 7.9 milliampere. Then you will be varying uh, the VAK and you will be noting on the value of uh, IA. See here at a particular instant, at a particular instant. Uh, you can see that device is getting turned on. So this this particular current is known as uh, latching current. Okay. So latching current we made a separate procedure, but at this point we can say that the device is getting turned on. So you need to plot the same thing in your graph. 